welcome back and in this video i'm going to show you how you can use a plugin with your c++ project if it's in a epic build engine or an even it's a sus build engine so what you need to do first first close your engine go to your file explorer you can use the by default windows one then on your project slash cpp okay it can be anything your project name or what and then create a new folder okay and give it name plugins make sure it should be same spell and the first p should be capital letter and also we can use the usual ca uh, small one okay and once you create a folder now instead of that you can put your plugins so now why you find your plugin so just for get the root access you can go to the, your engines that you install so it can be anywhere like wherever install go to the engines slash plugins then go to the marketplace folder and you find your all installed plugin that you have now suppose i need the playfab one so let me just take the playfab click on copy and then come here where you have the project file instead of that go to the plugins and simply click on paste now once you click on paste it will be you have the plugins in your folder you don't need to do anything stuff uh, like the plugin reloader or anything just you need to make sure that it's on your project's uh, engine okay that is the basically the thing that you need to know uh, you need to worry about otherwise it's nothing but okay so as you can see the plugins folder has been completely pasted at here now what you can do there's a two thing first you can regenerate the files and second you can compile the full thing so for comp uh, regenerate the files press C uh, your project file then right mouse then go to show more options and you find visual studio uh, projects or uh, files just place on that it is going to reboot your uh, and regenerate the project files so now the visual studio know that you have this plug in your projects now open your sln file then go to the visual studio 202020 make sure because this is the last version with the visual studio right now and once you have this thing just wait for a couple of minutes and then choose development editor and win64 by default it can be if you go to configuration manager oh sorry if you go to the configuration manager you'll be see some for some of cases it's now in any cpu and the your project files in uh, x64 so you don't need to worry about win64 as well so just keep it how it was okay and now choose your cpp file and once you have thing you will be see now at here there's a one more folder has been which is plugin and now you can access the plugin file as well and now just click on build once you click on build it's going to be compiled the files for you as you can see it's now for me it's going to be compiled this 130 files and once the file will be done let me show you so as you can see right now that uh, the build has been done successfully one zero failed and 11 is updated so now we are ready to use this plugin in our project now you can keep the your visual studio or if you want you can close this thing and then double click and on open your project file if it's us rebuild just press rebuild and it's going to be compiled rather than because we are already get this successfully and we already compiled with the visual studio so it has the updated data so it's, it's not should be required rebuild or you know you will compile message okay and now if you go to the plugin sector and go to the play fab so you find your play fab plugin at share as well so now you can call this uh play fab uh blueprints or rather than if you want to use or like that so for checking let's write some code for like play fab and you can see all the play fab has been loaded we found all the data like the account dance and everything so in this way you can add the plugins in a C++ project as well even if it's a source build engine or in its epic build engine it will work for both so thank you so much for watching see you next video stay happy